Use your spreadsheet to automate rendering multiple comps at one time. When it comes to rendering assets, the best practice is to limit the amount of manual work needed, especially when you're working with bulk assets and multiple comps as we're so accustomed to in sports. The best case scenario is to have everything toolkitted and rigged up so you can automate your renders. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can render multiple comps from a spreadsheet using Dataclay's Templator. When it comes to sports content, having the ability to render multiple comps at multiple sizes is key for player headshots, matchup graphics, and your LED content day shoots, just to name a few. Whether you need to render three comps or 30 from your main boards to your varying ribbon sizes, speed and efficiency are king. If you're new to Dataclay's Templator, I have a playlist of tutorials that you should check out and also have a discount code for rig that you can find in the description. If you're finding this content helpful, please like and subscribe and share with your friends and colleagues to help them out as well. So what do you say we hop in and save you some time and stress of waiting on those last minute renders to get done before the game starts. So this project was an LED wall that I animated, and in order to render it out, each wall needed to be rendered separately. And so I built it all as one, and then I had to split it up into different walls. So you can see his last name goes across the three different walls here. So I basically have one, two, and three walls, and then there was also a ceiling. So in order to render this, you'd have to go wall by wall. And it's not something you want to do manually. I had almost 300 different renders that I needed to do. And the way that I ended up doing it was rendering each wall and every single player that needed to be rendered out for that given wall, which worked. And after that, I started looking into, okay, how can I do this in more of a batch render fashion? So that's what I'm going to show you here today. We have four different walls. And the top, let me scale this up. So I want to render out my four different walls. And I'm going to pull up these reserved column names. So I'm going to be using Dataclay's Templator Bot. And I'll include this link in the description so you can go through it as well. So what I really want to do with this is change my target. Now, when you go into your preferences, and here's an updated look at the, the interface here. They've simplified it down, makes it a little bit easier to, to read and know what you're looking at. So when I go through in my target composition, if I just wanted to render out one comp, this is where I would go, my target composition, and I'd just select whatever, let's say player wall one, and I'd hit OK. And that works if that's how you want to do it. And that's how I did this initially and until I learned that I can do multiple at once. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my sheet here, and let's also pull up the reserved column names as well. So the reserved column name here says, I need to make one that says target, and it needs to be lowercase, just like output. So I'm gonna put target up here, and target needs to be the name of the comp. So instead of selecting it in that UI, we're going to designate which comp we want to use here. So it needs to be player dash wall 01. And I have my five different players here. So let me just do that. Of course, it's going to update. I should have just copied. And then I can just paste on every one so it doesn't increment to use wall two. So I'm gonna highlight all this, hit copy, it's all the same information, except now I want it to render wall two. So now we can copy this and paste it. And same exact thing, highlight, oops, make sure we highlight the right thing, highlight this. Paste it, change it to wall three, and then I can copy that and highlight all these and paste it. And one more, copy and paste. Change this to wall four, enter, copy, and paste. 
And you can see I already have an expression written on here so that it automatically generates the, the wall based on the target name. And I did that in a previous tutorial, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave that link in the description as well. So now that we have all this laid out, we're going to get all five players with all four boards rendered with our output name. Again, output is another reserved term. Reserve column name here. So since we're including this output, when it gets rendered, it's going to render with this name. So I'll be able to find it easily. So now all I need to do is go over here to render status, type in ready. I'm going to click on this and drag down. So they all say ready. So we're all set there. I can collapse this. So the only, only other thing I need to do is hop back in here and make sure that my render destination here is set. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now that I have my output set, I have my settings set, I can go ahead and turn on my bot. And you're going to see this kick in and it's going to start to queue and render. So I'm going to just try and minimize this a little bit so you can see what's going on. And I'm just going to rifle through the different walls, do first batch of wall one, then go to batch two, wall two, and then go to wall three. Queued and here it goes. Here we go. Wall one. There we go. And it's going to follow whatever you set up. Maybe you want all of one player to go. So your first, your two through six lines are all the same player. And the only thing that's changing is the target where you change it from wall one to wall four. So you can see how this would be hugely beneficial if you have multiple boards that you're rendering the content from that you can drive from the spreadsheet. So I hope that helps. Look forward to seeing what you do with it.